We are going to be making some shape monsters using oil pastels. Um, you are going to be starting out choosing what kind of uh, facial features you want to make for your monster. These are just some examples. Um, there's no perfect way or exact way to make a monster, so that's why this project is so fun. So you will all be getting to use a black piece of paper, and you can either start with your paper and keep it square, or you can round the edges like you see here in my other two monsters. So you would just take a scissors to round your edges and you would gently just curve the edge and then you would go to all of the edges cutting carefully around, kind of making it into a curved L shape. This is going to give us a little bit of a box for our monster to live in. So once you have done that, you can do it, you don't have to, you will then decide which way your monster is going to be going. If you want your monster upside down, that's great. If you want him going side to side or up and down, it's totally up to you. But the first thing you're going to do is draw your eyes. Your monster can have one eye, two eyes, maybe your monster has many eyes, but you would start with a white oil pastel using some heavy pressure and deciding where you want your eyes to go. I'm going to just draw two, I'm gonna do two eyes for this monster. So I draw in my kind of oval shape, filling that in with a lot of pressure. And I think my second eye is going to be touching my first eye. It's gonna be a little bit smaller and almost behind my first eye. So then I'll fill that in. We want these bright white colors to pop out on our black paper. We know that oil pastels are actually more like paint than they are um, crayons. Even though they might look like crayons, they act more like paint because we get those bright, vibrant colors and we can also mix colors. So there I have my eye shapes that I would like to have first. And then I'm going to draw my teeth shapes. And I think my monster is just gonna have one giant kind of curvy snaggle tooth. You can have rounded teeth, you can have pointy teeth, maybe your monster doesn't have any teeth and maybe he just has a big tongue. Okay, so that's kind of up to you. Uh, your next thing that you would do is you would decide what color you want your monster to be. You have all different oil pastel colors that you may use. I think I'm going to use green for my monster. You have to decide, are your monster's eyes in the middle of his body? Are they on top of his body where there's some overlapping? And so I think, and you then also need to decide what shape your monster is going to be. Are you, is your monster an oval, a circle, a square, a triangle? So I think my monster is going to be kind of boxy and he's gonna be like a rounded off square. And what you want to do with the shape of your monster, notice how you won't be seeing your entire monster. You're going to draw the sides of your monster going off the edges so that it's really filling your paper and you only have a little bit of black space in the background. You want your monster to be big and scary or not scary. This one's kind of funny looking. So you decide what shape your monster is and um, where that's going to go and then you would fill that in with oil pastel. Notice here how I use long, smooth, even brush strokes all going horizontally across my monster. I'm not changing the direction, I'm trying to make it so that my lines all blend together. I'm not pushing really hard as I do this. I'm pushing hard enough to cover my paper, but not too hard. Then I go back and outline. Next, you will be choosing a second color to add to your monster that you can then make some hair or stripes or a pattern with your monster, and I think I'm going to make dots. Now, when you choose the second color, think about what you know about the color wheel. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel usually look pretty nice together and they mix well together. So I chose yellow to go over top of my green, and that's going to make kind of a lime green. Notice how I'm pushing pretty hard and varying the size of my dots, and some of them are only half dots because you can't see the entire dot that's going off the side of my monster. Monster, You can also add other things like, you could add hair, you could add horns, 
let your imagination run wild with your monster when you are adding extra things. All right, when you're done adding those things and you have your um, pattern or your spots, you're going to take black and outline. So I'm going to outline around my eyes. You could just do one line around or you could do a couple outlines around to kind of make your monster look tired. Maybe if you put a couple lines underneath his eyes, he might look tired. You could add eyelashes if you wanted to make your monster look kind of girly. It's totally up to you. So then the inside part of your eye, I'm going to make my pupil. And then if I add another little shape around there, that looks like the shine in my monster's eyes. Now you don't have to have a circle for your pupil. I have this one has kind of a spiral and that's kind of funny as well. And they don't always have to be the same size. So that one's going to be that size. I'm going to make this one really big to kind of make my monster look surprised. Okay, um, I might add some eyelashes to this monster just for something extra and fun. I think I have a girl monster. Alright, then I'm going to also outline my tooth, kind of make a, a curved mouth shape to make that tooth stand out. And I might make a little line underneath it to show that's kind of my monster's chin. Another thing that you could do is you could outline your shape in black too just to make that stand out more, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. When you begin working on your monster, start by writing your first and last name and class code in pencil on the back. I cannot wait to see the colorful monster creations that you come up with. Have fun!